so I'm not sure what I'm doing today. Oh, hold on a second. That's every day since I started this project. So I just came from the paint store, and uh, if you guys haven't used this, this stuff is awesome. This allows you to clean out the needle and inside of your gun like in seconds and it's really good when i end up using like paint thinner and wiping it on and trying to clean my gun it just kind of smear stuff all over the place and you spray this and it just like it's crystal clear it's awesome um got myself a gallon of build primer activator i bought some 80 grit for my sander specifically to do possibly a little bit more uh uh, on the inside of the hardtop and the price is right so I couldn't pass it up of course I got some more filters and some more sticks um, this here was about $140 uh, including this all together um, but I'm gonna need this to you know do the whole car basically and uh, it's kind of a smorgasbord of what to do, where do I start, and, uh, you know, I have tons of stuff to do. It's just been really tough getting motivated, and, uh, man, if I had someone here with me, it's, a, it's like working out. If you have someone to go work out with, even if you don't want to, they're going to help you just like, hey, you know, what do you want, where do you want to start first, you know, and then you just kind of get to it. But since I'm doing this on my own, it's kind of, kind of difficult to keep up with it um so here's kind of the news on the hood it's been a few week a few weeks since uh i've been authorized to get a new hood and i have not had a response since and i've you know dug in to say hey what's the eta and uh, i think it's been like by the end of this weekend it'll be like 12 or 13 days and i haven't heard anything back and I know that they're slammed over there, but just having some kind of idea or a response like, don't know, need to custom make your hood for you, or don't know, we're back ordered for six months on hoods. Like, you know, that's all I'm looking for so I could plan accordingly. Um, so since they're so backed up, I'm not expecting it anytime soon, which kind of throws off my idea of finishing this section. Um, and you know, a good year and a half ago, I was, I was pushing this narrative with them and I didn't follow through because I just assumed that, well, if I have someone who actually knows how to do body work doing this, that they'll figure it out and work it out. And that's not the case. It's just jacked up enough to, you know, I mean, yeah, I could pay someone 50 hours or a hundred hours or whatever. Well, hundred bucks an hour it's 10 grand or whatever so like why would I spend 10 grand on something that's just supposed to fit so that's you know so I just kind of wish I would have pushed that narrative and I already had this instead of waiting at the time that I'm ready to do it so there's a lot of things I could be doing uh, I got the hood latch I really need to start getting these doors aligned I need to get my poppers uh, dialed in which that's probably the one thing I could probably do on my own uh, getting the doors aligned is really a two-man job. So, you know, there's also, which I can't really do until the body's off, but there's a little switch panel that I need to weld onto the frame of the car. Um, so I was thinking about that today, how that's going to go down. And uh, I don't know, there's just lots of little different nuances that I could tackle and just need to... Uh, bug up and get to it so we'll see where it goes plus I gotta sand my fenders back there uh, I think those are gonna need more spray once I get through the first sanding that's gonna need more spray and a little more build I accidentally put some fingerprints on one side which of course is a divot so um, you know I just don't really have the proper tools to stand this stuff up and spray it perfectly so it's my learning experience. My, my back fenders are my learning experience, so we're going to see how that goes. And 
Oh, we'll go from there. See, see what I pull out of the hat here. So one of the issues you can see I'm screwing around and screwing around and screwing around and screwing around is, you know, there's no lip here to, to grab anything to know, like, here's exactly where I'm measuring from. And so, you know, you can't really be an eighth of an inch, inch off. And so I'm doing everything I can and making different marks and maybe I could grab the lip of this tape and, you know, all sorts of stuff, right? So... Finally, after, you know, and then, of course, if you, you know, you look a little this way, it looks eighth inch off. You look a little that way, it's an eighth inch off. So I'm screwing around doing all this stuff. And then I go to drill my hole, which I finally, okay, I'm convinced this is where I'm going to go. And this, the, the drill bit stops because it hits another wall. And then I'm like, oh, yeah. There's a pop-out here, and I'm going to cut right into the middle of this pop-out, which doesn't work. So now I'm sitting there going, now what? So let's say I make this a little bit higher, because I forgot about this. If I make this a little bit higher so the whole thing is in here, then that means that this plate needs to be adjusted and totally changed. And so, you know, it's <laughs> just sit here and go, why doesn't this stuff just work? <clears throat> but as it is on this one, I could say, well, I'm kind of customizing because I'm using, even though the manual says you can use this, uh, it's not what was prescribed for this car exactly. So, um, so I guess this one's on me, but Still, it annoys the crap out of me. So now it's, well, do I drill the hole backwards? Do I make a new plate? I was all happy that I dug into this and got it finished. And I was five seconds away from drilling a hole and being done with this. And now it's a whole nother thing so now I have to decide on something so I decide that well I need to know where I am on the other side so let me just drill this hole all the way through thinking I'd be in the meat of this and sure enough where's the hole 
right on the edge. <laughs> so, I can't win. I just can't win. I figured it was going to be right here. Sure enough, it's not, which is why you do these things. So, I think, you know what, I think I'm just going to, I'm going to drill this where it is. And then we're just going to make it look pretty some other way. Because, uh, uh, you know, I don't want to have something majorly sticking out and all sorts of craziness there. I'd rather take this and just do something that makes it look pretty. So, so I'll do my initial hole here, and then I'll have to somehow do it again over there. I don't think I have a hole saw. You know, I'm using this, I don't know what they call it, a step bit. Forty-four millimeter. I don't know what forty-four millimeter is. Inch and three quarter. Nope. It's bigger. So now, if I had an actual hole saw, I could probably drill all the way through. But you know, it probably wouldn't be that accurate, anyways. So. <clears throat> And see, now you see why I go to start stuff, and then I'm like, uh, I don't know. And then I, I don't want to say get in over my head, but kind of, I guess. I'll admit it. I'll be man enough to admit it. Get in over my head, and then I back out. And the thing is, is I do it many steps before I really should, and sometimes I'll get through it no problem, and sometimes it's exactly like this, how I thought it was going to be. So... So what happens when you're trying to be overly cautious, but you know, rightfully so. I don't want to keep doing more body work. More body work sucks. Okay, we're showing how quick this could get out of hand. So, I decide I'm going for it and I'll deal with the consequences later. And as you can see, there's metal in there. So, the hole is not going straight through because the metal is there on the second ply on the inside. So this is something really I gotta take off the car, and of course I can't really take it off the car without a second person. So, oh, it's just, I mean, I can take it off the car, but you know, I got severe back and neck issues, so it always just becomes a big cluster. Um, and I wanna put it on and off a few times, you know, while I'm doing this, so. So I don't know if I'll be able to, you know, can't use a hole saw now because there's a hole here and not enough, uh, won't guide it right. I only need to go a little bit further. Um, but, you know, I don't know if I'll be able to muscle through um, given that I have proper support on a bench or something like that to drill through. Um, or if I'm just going to have to like dremel this whole thing out manually now because... It's just a big cluster F. So that's basically, now you see my hesitations. <laughs> so what could have been a fruitful day and getting through one of the things that I was really worried about is now worse off than I started. So, and that just takes my motivation out of everything. So.
All right, so did a good job carving this out, giving me space for the uh, nut to go on. So what I need to do is kind of fill this back in and build it in and then finish it off. Wait, hold on. <laughs> That's not what I need to do. That's what someone else needs to do. Because <laughs> I ain't doing it. <laughs> I might start it, but... Uh, you know, I got these pretty good, but... I'm not the finish man. However, Greg might be like, Well, you need to do this to learn. And I'm cool with that, as long as it's under supervision. But there's only so far I could take this stuff. So in any case, uh, this is successful. I do need to put this back on and see how that uh, latch fits against the uh, part that it latches to. Uh, besides that, we're doing okay. However, this is, you know, I don't know, an hour or two. You know, that's that's a that's a two hundred dollar repair right there. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, it's so crazy. So, uh, in any case, uh, I'll see if I can get this thing back on the car at some point and uh, see what it looks like. All right, here we go. So, it actually sticks out, and when you put it in, it latches, so now it's tight. And then you turn it, and it undoes the latch. And this basically becomes your handle. And you can see I did a nice little carving around there, which I'll have to fill in a little bit, but... Uh, yeah, so then you put it down, that locks it, push the button in, there you go, turn it, then it's loose. Well, there you go, year and a half in the making. <laughs> At least I have a sense of humor about this stuff. This is just, it's just brutal, man, it's just brutal. So, I tried working a little bit on the door for the poppers, and I just gave up, man. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't, I'm trying to use the factory cable that came with the car. And I don't, I don't know if there's even a point to that. You can see it right here. So, little cable. Uh, you know, the end doesn't match really what I need for the uh, for the uh, popper itself and uh, you know so do I even need the sheath at all probably not and I guess Greg has like a cable kit where you could just design and create anything you want and it's like well I think I need that before I decide where I'm gonna place this and uh, yeah again just hopping into an area that I've never dealt with and when I was screwing around with it every once in a while the cable would fall off and you know I know under tension it's not but it won't do that but depends on how the uh, how the unit is set up so again all these kind of weird things and I don't know if I showed you this before but noticing some grime and residue around that area of the tank and so that's not good so once the body comes off I gotta see why that is uh, looking that way um, I'm also getting a little rub here on one of my fuel lines against the uh, fiberglass so I gotta cut that off um, found a very slight you can barely see it can't get my hand in there valve cover leak very slight but enough to uh, see it right there so it might be a just a tension thing because these things you don't really crank down too much um, I'm pretty sure I had a leak on the other side and I fixed that I don't know if I came around to this side and like you know did redid this one also at the same time or not I'll have to go review the videos I just don't remember. There's just so much going on, I, I can't keep it all straight. So, but there's definitely a leak here. And uh, so I might have to take this side apart and do that. So it's just little things after that. Um, I've also had a leak at the very top of the radiator where the hose goes on. 
And it wasn't a leak that was happening while the car was running. It was a leak that was happening as the car was uh, uh, sitting in the garage afterwards, cooling down. It would, uh, you know, leave like a, I don't know, half a cup of antifreeze on the ground. And it was kind of hard to find because it was tr it was in the middle of nowhere and I was checking the bottom hose. It wasn't the bottom hose. It turns out it was just dripping between the shocks uh, as it kind of came out a little bit. So I reclamped that the other day. But I don't know when the next time I'm going to have this thing fired up to see if it does anything. And uh, so, yeah, lots of stuff, lots of stuff. There's so much to do. I printed out another list and I just have tons of stuff like fixed door. My spelling might be jacked. I just drill stuff out here. Uh, doors realign with striker, uh, latch drill out, which is for the doors. On the doors, they kind of, there's an area right here where this is going to have a, a, like a knob coming out. I have to kind of carve that out right there. So that's what that is. Of course, I'm not going to do that until the doors are off. Um, sand the fenders. I got the I got the sandpaper, which of course is six inch, not five. Why that says five, I have no idea. Install the poppers latch. Hey, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> uh, new head gasket, or I guess. Uh, cover gasket transparent recycle oil change diff recycle oil there we go um yeah there's all sorts of stuff once the body's off all sorts of new things but i don't know i kind of resurrected the day by getting this button finished i'm shocked Totally shocked, but uh, hey, I'm coming away with a win, so we're going to go with it. Well, until next time, have a great day.